Today, we are getting records. <laughs> Specifically, <laughs> Paramore! <laughs> Record store day! <laughs> you know, just got into vinyls and physical copies of music, but I love Nashville. I'm from Indiana. Okay, we're all traveling here. We got Florida, Georgia, and um, we're here for Paramore, here for Record Store Day. Support music! We love it, yes. So we were here, at eight. it was fine, it was fine. It was a little drizzle, um, and then we looked at the weather, and it was like starting to come down. The wind was coming down, it was like 2 a.m. And so we I marked ourselves with numbers and waited in the car in the parking lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shuffle around. <laughs> what is my actual? Oh my God. I'm breathing. We're breathing. There's spots in the eyes. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Today is record store day and I was able to pick up everything I wanted from Rough Trade West this morning. The record that I wanted the most was this David Byrne from Talking Heads does Hard Times and Paramore does Burning Down the House. This is Paramore's first physical release on their brand new label, Fine Print, so I'm so happy to have it in my collection. The centre label and this translucent white are so good. Of course I had to pick up a copy of Re This Is Why, which is Paramore's remix album featuring so many great artists like Julian Baker and Jack Antonoff. The back cover features the original artwork for This Is Why because this edition comes with a copy of the original album as well. The original album is pressed on this white creamy colour which is very similar to the original album's Spotify pressing. It is slightly different but the tiniest bit different. And the remix album is pressed on this beautiful translucent red. I also bought the 1LP edition of this album. I know what you're going to say but they are a little bit different. Firstly the back cover has the track listing. Also the image inside the gatefold is not the same and then the spines also have different titles on them so I completely justified needing both of these. The pressing is exactly the same however. Let me know if you had a successful record store day and what did you pick up? And himself, Joe, how are you doing this morning? Oh, it's wonderful. Had the best pre-record store day evening last night possible. You know, the karma out here you know, it's a cooperative, you know, environment. We're just having a great time, you know. It's like I finally bedded down about 2 a.m. It's like, oh, cool, you know. It takes you back to when you're a kid in some kind of organized camp out or something. Three people with dogs, you know. And what are dogs? You know, they're our best, you know. What are dogs? Funny. They're funny, but they're, you know, they're best friends. So anyway, just... Joe, you're a bit of a fixture here at Record Store Day. I'm curious as to what exactly the, the day means to you. Well, you know, the thing is, is, you know, I lived in Nashville for 20-odd years, nine, like 96 to 2016, and been a customer of Grimey since the Bransford Avenue's days, and just have always appreciated, you know, the passion 